Good morning, it's Indoor Girl, and today we're at Knobles Lake Glory Campground. It's early spring in East Central Pennsylvania, and we're at site CB25, um, which is close to the waterways. Today is the opening of trout season, and uh, for my husband's birthday last year and this year, we decided uh, he's an avid fisherman. I'm not really, but he's an avid fisherman. So we decided we'd come out and start our camping season here at Lake Glory Campground. Uh, it is really close to home for us, and so it also makes it convenient in that way. I thought I'd show you our campsite in case you're thinking about visiting Knobles Lake Glory Campground so you can decide if this is the type of site that you want. Uh, Knobles does have a number of different types of sites, tent sites, um, partial hookup sites. Um, now this row, the CB row, is full hookup sites. So there's 50 amp, uh, 30 amp, 20 amp water and sewer, um, all hookups over there, and everything's in really good shape. Um, so today we're hooked up to the 30 amp. We haven't dewinterized yet. It's a little too early here in East Central Pennsylvania for us to do that. We don't have a heated undercarriage. So uh, we, we have heat, um, but we don't have a heated undercarriage. And so I don't want to chance freezing water up in our pipe. So, uh, but it's just me and my husband. And, we, you know, we're just here for the weekend. So it's not a big deal. Um, so to show you around the site a little bit. Um, so there are the hookups back there, as usual. Whoops. Uh, let me get my finger in the camera. Uh... Uh, there we go. Sorry. There we go. There's the hookups right there. And then as we're panning over here, there's a little stream uh, running right there. That's not where the trout are. And you can see we have some cattails off there. Another reason I chose this site is that it's close to the restroom. We don't have an onboard restroom. Uh, we pull a porta potty in at night uh, for us middle-aged people who need to use the restroom a couple times at night. Um, but the restrooms are over there. Uh, we'll tell you, um, especially this time of year, there's no hot water, um, so we're not showering or anything, but, um, you know, but it works out. It's enough for what we need, and we have wipies in there uh, in case we need to freshen up a little bit. And you can see there's a playground over there, and we have a young man out there enjoying himself with a stick, like all young men do. And then over here, uh, you can see everybody lined up at the trout stream. This is uh, Roaring Creek, and they stock it with trout every year. And so uh, everybody's down there. It's nice and quiet. And they're catching fish. And my husband is out there looking for his spot. He's probably found it by now. Um, looking for that out there. You can see that the other side is very popular right now because it backs up to the stream. And then off in the distance there, as we pan around, uh, there are lots of trucks and cars here where people do drove here for the day uh, to come fishing. And then all of the other campsites that are neighboring stretch down this way. And then here... We pan back around to CB25 again. It is flat, really nice. It's spacious, probably one of the more spacious sites we've been to. And uh, up over the ridge there, it's just a little like embankment, um, is the lake. So if he wants to go bass fishing later on, that'll be available for him there. Um, and it's always a really nice place to come. And uh, the, the amusement park hasn't started up yet, so it's not so crazy. And then people tend to be quiet when they're fishing, so... Uh, so it's made it nice that way. So I hope I've shown you enough to decide if um, Knobles Lake Glory Campground is a place that you might want to come visit. And once again, this is Site CB25. And we hope to see you out there camping. Have a great season.